the proposed protection from internet falsehoods, manipulations, and other related matters bill 2019 has been described as an unnecessary piece of legislation. At the hearing in Abuja conveyed by the Senate Committee on Judiciary, 80% of the speakers opposed protection from internet falsehoods and manipulation bill, asking the lawmakers to dispose of the controversial bill. They expressed worries over the impact such a bill would have on media houses journalists and other online users who make a living of the social platforms if implemented. Therefore, this public hearing underscores the importance attached to the process. On this note, it should be reiterated once more that as a deliberate and responsive Senate, we always pay attention to the fact that our efforts, our reports, our people-oriented and reflect the yearnings and aspirations of the citizenry. In Bring this government with another bill that further entrenches the levels of impunity and excesses that this country is currently going through would be really dangerous for us and perhaps even very dangerous for democracy. The design of the Nigerian constitution has captured most of these fundamental issues concerning freedom of expression in Nigeria. So it is important that any law and this social media bill in its current force will constitute a barrier to something which Nigeria has already decided it will not allow. The sponsor of the bill, Senator Mohamed Sani, in his submission insisted that even if the bill is dropped, he will continue to push to ensure that the social media is regulated in Nigeria. A disturbing, it has assumed a disturbing dimension in recent times. It's damaging implications cut across every fiber of people's common life, from politics to religion, from business to social life. Among those who throw their weight behind the piece of legislation are the Nigerian Army and the Nigerian Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs. We say that we welcome this bill for reasons of national security. To promote national security, Measures that may appear to limit individual liberties, uh, but, um, or, but in the interests of the nation are taken. Proliferation of laws is not a unique ingredient of democratic governance. Therefore, we feel that if there is any need for us to look at the existing laws, we can go ahead and do the same rather than proliferate them. Others argue that passage of the protection from internet falsehoods, manipulations, and other related matters bill 2019 gives the police limitless powers to arrest and prosecute internet offenders. Talking about how to fix our constitution through a referendum, because if we had a constitution that is made for the people and by the people, there is no way like the South Africans have after apartheid, that we will have a bill like this standing at the people's building here in Abuja. It would never have been considered. And it would mean that some of the people who have this kind of outdated ideas would never have made it to even our Senate. That is the truth. The final thing I want to say is that this bill is dead. I want to plead with you on behalf of Nigerian youths that you trash this bill and hold this for that um, consideration. Earlier, President of the Senate, Ahmed Lawan, who declared open the public hearing, assured that stakeholders at the public hearing were in a better position to provide well-reasoned arguments on the way forward on the bill. That the right of an individual ends where the right of another individual begins. The rub between the freedom of an individual and the limits of that individual is often a tight one to walk. As a people, however, we cannot stop discussing this freedom and its limitations for peace and harmony, growth and development. He added that the Senate's position will be partly dependent on the committee's reports on the social media bill. Not less than 60 civil society organizations, media practitioners and consigned Nigerians made their reservations on the controversial anti-social media bill. From the National Assembly, Sandra Gwana, TVN News.